Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in this video I will show you how you can set up default time zone and language for your G Suite users. Being an administrator, you will log into G Suite admin console first by typing in admin.google.com in your browser and then logging in with your admin ID and password. And once you are in the admin console, you will click on company profile because that's where this setting is and then scroll down and click on profile. Under profile you will find a few settings. We are interested in language and time zone which you will find after scrolling a bit. Once you're in here you can change the language settings. So for example if I want to make it Spanish I can just select that and then I can also select the time zone that I want my users to see when they log in for the first time. Now one quick note is that this will not impact any of the existing users that you would have because they might have already set up their individual preference. So just for the experiment I've selected uh, Spanish as a language and my time zone and I'll, then I click on save. Now I will go ahead and quickly create the user and see how that works. So I'll go to my directory, I'll go to users and I will quickly create a user. So let's call this user Sarah Okay, and then you will give this user the password. And then you will create it. Now I'm just gonna log in. Oh, oh this user already exists, so let's just change the name a bit. So this user is now created, and I will be logging in as this user. And go to mail.google.com, sign in with the user that we just created goldie.com put the password that we selected for this user accept the terms and conditions and if you see the terms and conditions are also now in Spanish which means the default settings uh, have taken place so now everything which this user see here for example this compose button and all the labels they are in Spanish including uh, the settings which I guess is this one so everything here is in Spanish and now if I go to uh, calendar by default I'll have uh, the time zone too however it says that based on my location I'm in East Coast so based on my location it's tracking it and it's asking me if I want to change my location and my time zone to EST so which I'll say no just for now so this is how it works hope it was helpful if you have any questions feel free to put your comments and I'll be happy to help thank you so much